Hey guys, Xander here with the Fusion Team, and today we're going to be talking about mill turn operations. In this example, we're going to be showing you a part that has its exterior profile turned on a lathe, and then using live tooling on that lathe to drill holes inside of it. So, to get started, we're going to look directly at how I have this set up in the modeling environment. So, you may notice that I have two bodies. One's called a turning body, one's called a milling body. And this is important because the turning operation doesn't like to have bodies that have holes in them. So we're going to use a clean profile, a clean body that doesn't have any holes in it to get the best results. Something that you may have heard of is called garbage in, garbage out. The better your geometry is to begin with, the better your output will be. And I'm also going to switch to the environment to be photo booth so you can see this a little better. So to get started, we're going to look at this setup first. And you're going to see that our body here is actually our turning body. If I was to set this to be our drilling body, you'll see why we would have issues. So I'm going to regenerate these two tool paths, and you can see this one won't regenerate because it says it's split into two or more parts. And what this means is there's holes in the model and it can't figure out how it's supposed to be. So that's why we're using the two bodies. We get a much better profile, we'll have better results out of it, and in general when you're doing anything complicated like a mill turn operation or a five axis operation, you want to use the best model geometry to get the best results out. So regenerating these two operations, you can see our facing operation and our profiling operation. This isn't a lathe tutorial, so we're just going to skip right into the part where we actually drill the holes. So inside this setup, what we're using is we're using our drilling body as our model. And then for our stock, we're using our turning body, since that's what we just made in the previous setup. So just going to go ahead and delete what we have already. And we're going to get started. So First thing is, we're going to start with a drilling operation. We're going to choose our tool. We already have a center drill in here. And you're probably looking at this like, wait, Xander, that is not in the right location. And I would say you are correct. It is not in the right location. So the way to get this into the right orientation is we're going to switch over to the geometry tab. And we're going to enable tool orientation. What this allows us to do is it allows us to change this triad here, our WCS. As you can see, it's currently set up for our lathe, which has our z-axis aligned here and our x-axis in this direction. But that's not what we need. We need our z-axis to be in line with our whole axis. So how do we do that? How do we change it? Tool orientation, we're going to choose our z-axis. For this model, we're going to hit this top hole first. We could hit this y-axis right here, or technically z-axis. And you can see that the triad has now rotated. So if I clear that out, so over there choose the axis and it rotates. You can also choose a plane. I usually choose planes. If I can choose a plane. So choosing this plane, it'll go normal to the plane. And if you say it was going the wrong way, you could flip it. But it's going the correct way. You can also choose the x axis and it would go there. But for this demonstration, I want to use this, the z axis. So now our triad is facing the right way. If we look at our tool, our tool is now in the right position. So going back to geometry, we can now select our holes. So we're going to select our hole faces right there. And just for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and make the height on this bottom hole. Negative half a millimeter, just so it drills through. Technically, that's not correct, but it's a tutorial. All right, so we have our first hole done. Now you're probably thinking, okay, wait, now I gotta do that for all eight of these. I gotta make some more planes. This is, that, that's a lot of work. I'll show you a shortcut right here. So underneath the setup folder, we're gonna click new pattern. And as you can see, our drilling operation just went into that folder. So I'll show you again. We have our drilling operation selected under setup, new pattern, and now we have a folder. Now instead of being a linear pattern, we're gonna make this a circular pattern. We're gonna click this axis and we're gonna say we want eight of these. And if you go to the front view and I switch this back to the dark room, you can see we now have eight of these perfectly aligned with our holes inside of our part because we used a model, sorry, we used a circular pattern to make those holes in our part to begin with. So now we only have to do one operation and one pattern to get all eight of those drilled switch the environment back to the one that doesn't look all dark photo booth so you, that pattern will now hold our drilling operation and it will pattern it eight times and automatically 
update the work coordinate offset with the tool orientation each time. So this second hole would already have this reoriented. And all of that's going to be taken care of in the post. I know you're probably thinking, well, my Z axis on my lathe goes this way through my part, not out. That's going to be handled in the post processor. Now, say for example, you wanted to then follow that spot drill with maybe another drilling operation. You wanted to do something with a larger tool. I'm just going to take a guess at uh, 1 16th looks good. Um, maybe a little larger. Maybe. We'll go with a little larger. There, that one. I like that one. So under geometry, once again, tool orientation, we're going to choose the axis we want. It's in the correct location. Our whole face, just like a normal hole operation, looks good. Tools in line with it. And again, just for the sake, well, we'll do drill tip through bottom. And you can see it drills it through the bottom. Hit OK. And we have one drilling operation. Now to get eight of those, all we're going to do is we're going to click and drag this into the folder. And if I simulate this, you can see that we now have eight spot drills. Turn off the body. Eight spot drills. And now we come in with the drill and drill those out eight times over. Because any operation inside this folder will become patterned, circular patterned eight times. So that's a real quick way to get your mill turn sit your mill turn <laughs> up and running using patterns and live tooling. Hope that helps a lot. Let me know if you have any questions.